Okay, and the video's done. That's all we need. Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for checking out my new video on the Storm Night Road. I'm really excited to show you guys what I think of this bowling ball. I love the High Road. I love all the High Road series. And I think this ball just adds a great piece to it. And I mean, I just like black bowling balls. They look really nice. They, this ball smells amazing. So let's get out here, throw it on our typical house shot, compare it to the original High Road and see what we think. Uh, a lot of you guys have asked for layouts on the ball. So this one is four and a half by five by two and three quarters. So fairly strong layout for me. So let's see what it does. Okay, and the video's done, that's all we need. No, I think uh, I think this is just gonna add to the legacy of all the road series bowling balls. I was kind of surprised, I thought it might be a little sharper down lane. It's fairly smooth down lane still, but it's incredibly continuous. A lot of people having a lot of success with this ball. I know I've thrown it a little bit already and I'm really enjoying it with the strong cover on it. I think it's going to make a flight with me soon. So we'll see how it looks on uh, the World Championship or the World Cup pattern. That one's pretty good too. So, like I say, little, little bit slower than the original High Road. I think for me, if. Uh, if you like, it kind of reminds me of the, uh, the High Road X. And I know a lot of people didn't get along with that ball, but I think this is gonna be an upgrade to that ball. I personally loved it. It's gonna be a really versatile ball. I think, uh, I think it's gonna be a ball you can use on the fresh if you have a little surface on it, but it's also a ball you can open a lane up with. So I think for me, it's something I'm gonna be able to stay with a long time and really get a lot of use out of. Little bit of a weak corner, almost didn't get the 10 out there, but I mean, even if I threw that a touch fast, it still got it out. So let's go a little bit left here and see if we can open the lane up a little more and how much this ball can recover on a fresh pattern. So I'm gonna go like three and two left, keep my same hand position, just try and be a touch slower, get it to come around the corner still. Missed a little bit right, almost still got the 7-10 out. I think I just gotta be a little bit slower if I'm gonna be in that zone. Keep it in the oil a little longer, retain a little more energy and we'll get through the pins. Let's try one more with that. If you guys like the jersey that I'm wearing or any jerseys that we wear in the videos, make sure you go on to imbowling.com and use promo code DHBOWL at checkout for 20% off your order. Okay, so a little bit slower than that last one. That's better. Almost went high, almost a little bit too slow. I feel like I naturally, whenever I throw it a little bit slower, get a little more on the ball, so that one really picked up hard. But I mean, what are we throwing? Five shots, haven't missed yet. So let's go to the original high road. Really, really similar layout. Fairly fresh cover, this high road I only drilled about two months ago. So pretty close comparison here. I'm gonna start in the same spot as I was with the, uh, with the night road. Make sure you guys check out Jopo Grips the interchangeable thumb that I use and I think it's the best one on the market. I wouldn't use it if I didn't believe in the product, so it's really good. That's pretty close too. I thought that was close and that just, as soon as it saw the friction, it read. So I think that's gonna be the major difference. The night road's a little smoother because of that stronger cover stock, where the high road is gonna see that friction and wanna jump left really quickly. 
So I think it's going to be a ball that you can go to sooner than a high road. You maybe you'll start with it, then go to a high road if this gets a little too, a little too lazy down lane, and probably play a pretty similar part of the lane. So I'm just going to try and get this one to the right a little quicker. Still stay in the same part of the lane. That's closer. Now I'm not sure how well it shows on video, but to me, that ball feels like it's getting down the lane another maybe foot and a half before it starts to pick up. And it's a little more angular down lane. Obviously I really like that shape as well. I think, like a lot of people, the high road is one of my favorite bowling balls of all time. It's stuck around in the lineup for, what, 12 years now because it's so good. So, when you combine that with the cover that's on the new night road, I think that's why you're gonna get such a good combination out of that ball. And then this ball is just a great step down from it with a really, really similar motion. Yeah, so again, really good motion there. As long as I get that to the right a little bit quicker, just so it has a little more time in the friction to respond. The night road, I can get it in the oil a little more and it kind of lays off and rounds it out a little more where the original high road really wants to see that friction. So let's go back to the night road here. Might not have to be a real long review guys because man, I think I strike a lot with these bowling balls and I uh, hope that I continue to do so. So let's see what it looks like a little straighter. Show off the versatility. Try and roll the back of it here. That's just 10 straight back. But I find that's the amazing thing about the high roads, all the road line. The FE2 core just gets into that roll and it doesn't quit. At least for me, I find them incredibly continuous through the pins. I don't flat 10 with these balls a lot. Um, I will say I did with the, the High Road Max. I think that was just a bit too cover strong for me. If I had a lane shined it or shined it up a little bit, it might have been better. But this one just seems to have that right blend of clean and strong down lane. So let's go five left off that last shot. Try and roll it a little bit still and see what it'll do. Uh oh. That never had a chance. So that's the one thing. I gotta be in that zone where I can't miss left too much. On a house shot, obviously, can't play as straight as I like to. I gotta open it up a little more. Play where the volume of the pattern is. So that's that kind of in between zone where the ball's not gonna look as good for me. I think if we go another five left, it'll look a little better. Still gotta be nice to it, still gotta roll it. But have a little bit more room to miss right. And hopefully have a little bit more hold left here as well. That's pretty close. So that was pretty close. Didn't get around the corner quite as hard as I would have wanted. So probably have to catch a little more of it with my hand. But now we're starting to get back in that zone where I started. So let's see a couple going way left with the night road and then I think we'll wrap it up because I mean this ball is a proven winner already in my eyes and just adding to the legacy of a, a great line of bowling balls. So I'm gonna get left, I'm gonna slow it down and get my hand around it a little bit. Eh, a little bit of a weak 10. Just didn't quite come around the corner. Might have to get a little bit more of it with my hand. Hit up on it a little bit more just to get it to make that corner harder. But overall, didn't hate that ball motion and realistically, I'm a little too far left on a fresh pattern with that anyway. Slow down here a little bit. Try and catch a little more of it. Like I say, and 
just give it time to respond down lane because this still is a fairly fresh lane. That's closer, I think. That ball just cut through the heart of the pins. Now, if I was to spool for score, no way I'd be that far left yet. I'd be where I started with this ball in that, like, fourth arrow out to around 10 zone, where I can create the most amount of margin for error. But I really like the versatility of this ball. I can trick it with my hand. I can do a lot of things with it. And I've always been able to do that with the high roads as well, so. I know I'm saying it a lot, but I'm enjoying this bowling ball a lot, and I think uh, a lot of people are gonna like it. If you like the high road, you should like this. That's a little left. Wow, a little left, but it still got through the fronts. So you see the amount of area I can create with that ball off the bat. I mean, I think it speaks for itself. I think it's gonna be really useful on a lot of patterns. NEX or, sorry, REX cover really takes well to, uh, to surface changes from what I've found so far. So it's gonna be a really versatile ball. Really, really good for a lot of people. So let's throw one more with this. 10 straight back, I'm gonna wrap it up. Normal release, normal hand position. Okay, we'll try that again. That's where it comes in. If I don't, uh, if I don't circle it, it's not gonna recover when I'm going straighter with my normal hand position. So just gotta get that, just gotta make a better shot. That wasn't very good. One more, make a good one. I mean, you can't do much about that guys. That's just uh, unfortunate. And what that's telling me is that's two, two shots where I've had one go and flutter, and I've had one not get through the pins. So that means that uh, I'm probably to the point I do need to actually start getting around the side of it and migrating left a little bit. So let's do that. Do what the lane's telling you to. Don't fight with it. We'll make a good shot. That's better. Get that 10 out. Guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you check out the night road. If you like the high road, you're gonna like this one. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bells because we're gonna be uploading a whole lot more videos and we want you to check them out.